Are you wondering what you need to do with your griddle for the winter because maybe you don't have the luxury like we do here in Central Florida where you can cook year round? I think I can help you out what you need to do to store your griddle for the winter or things that you can do if you wanna keep cooking throughout. So stick around because I'm gonna show you what we would do if we were storing the griddle and things that we've seen that seem to work pretty well. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. So I've got Griffin out here helping me just wanting to show you what we would do for the griddle if we were storing it for the winter. And I would say right now, it's a little chilly here in Central Florida. I think we're looking between 60 and 65 degrees. For you up north and out in the west, I know you're experiencing a lot of winter weather so far. A lot of people have reached out to us and asked, hey, what do I need to do to store my griddle for the winter? And so I wanted to give some tips, things that we've done when we've had to put our griddle away for an extended period of time. While I am showing you on the Pit Boss griddle, this is my deluxe five burner, you can use this for your Pit Boss, your Blackstone, your Camp Chef, anything that is steel top is going to need something similar because the enemy to your steel top griddle is moisture. So let's go ahead and take a gander here. This is what we're looking at. This is the griddle. So right now, this is what I've got. I just cooked on it the other day. So I put, I've got a fresh coat of oil on there already. That's the slick right there. But if I wanted to go ahead and get this ready. Now, fortunately on this particular unit, we do have the side shelves that fold up and will become a, well, a hard cover for this griddle, which is great. A lot of the other units will have a lid that comes over from the back. Now, if you don't have a lid, don't worry. I'll share a solution that will work as well. Like I said, though, moisture is the enemy to this surface. In fact, I've had to resurface a few spots when I did get some moisture over the summer on the griddle top with some heavy rains while I was away in Hawaii. I know you feel really bad for me. What we're gonna be doing for the winter is we're just gonna be putting a little bit of oil. If I were putting this away for several months, this is what I could do because we're really just trying to preserve or protect it. So the simple thing, this is just regular vegetable or canola oil. I'll be honest, I don't remember which. We use them so interchangeably, but I could use like olive oil if I had to sell some stocks in order to buy some olive oil. I don't know why uh, prices are screaming high right now or going up on olive oil, but right now I'm just using my vegetable oil. And all I would do is I'm just going to, what I'd say, winterize the griddle. So this is for the surface. So all I'm doing is I'm just gonna take my paper towels or rag or whatever you have, and we're just going to rub extra oil into the surface. And I'm gonna get on my sides and I can come along, along the outside too. Now this is gonna make my rag a little dirty or my, my paper towel a little dirty because this is from the outside. It was clean. That light is what we're looking for. People always ask when we're cleaning the griddle what we're looking for. But like I said, I'm gonna like kind of leave this light oil of, layer of oil rather on the griddle. Now, um, this is one way to do it. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna close this up. This side goes first, then that side. And we're gonna lock this up. And then all I'm going to do, coming down here on the gas, um, I'm making sure this is closed, turn off. I can leave this on because I'm going to put a cover over all of this. If I want to, I could disconnect this, store that away individually as well. So that is basically what I would do if I'm storing this for the winter for the basics for the steel top. Now, before I get to the last part of covering this, which is literally just covering it, there are a couple other things because so many times people worry, is that oil going to be enough? Now, the oil should be enough. That said, if you're worried about it, there are other options. You could use Crisco oil or other vegetable shortening and really put a thick like coating on there. There was a gentleman, in fact, I'll link his channel down below who they had like 48 inches of snow through the winter, came back. He had that Crisco kind of put all over the place and it seemed to work very, very well. If that doesn't work or you wanna use the oil, we do know that some who will lay parchment paper over the oil on top of the griddle just to really make sure that that uh, moisture isn't going to get in there. Or you've probably seen the pop popular products such as the griddle guard or a silicone mat that you can also use to cover. I will have links to those products down below in case you're interested in getting one of those to cover your griddle. Again, once you put the oil down, the whole purpose of the oil is to really keep the metal from getting moisture in. It kind of acts as a protective layer between the steel and the elements. So the last thing that I would do is we gotta get a cover because I also wanna protect the paint and other things on here. So I'm gonna grab my cover, which I have right here, fresh out of the box. So I'm just gonna take my griddle cover and simply cover it now. I'm gonna throw the griddle cover on. I'm gonna cover everything. This particular cover is designed actually for the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle, but I just wanted to point out anything you're going to use to cover 
is going to help. So you can get the branded covers like this one, which I think are a little bit more durable. This one's a really good cover. You can buy any of the generic or aftermarket as we call them covers like at Lowe's or online, anything that will fit. Just make sure you get the right measurements for the right griddle. This one does fit. And the last thing I would do is really cinch up the bottom. Sometimes you'll have Velcro straps. This one is actually a small rope that goes all the way through that I can cinch and tighten to make sure that this isn't going to blow off in the event that it was a snowstorm come through or something that's going to potentially take that top off. That's kind of it. That is as far as covering this for the outside. Now there are other options. If you're lucky like Brett, who's just a little bit north of me, he also still gets to cook year round, but he also has the luxury of putting all of his units in his garage. So he just stores them in the garage for the winter, which is something you could do if you're really worried about it, roll it away and put it in the garage or storage, or even more if you want to, if you're worried about the griddle surface itself, the griddle surfaces all come off. In fact, now let me show you. Okay, it may not be something you've ever thought about or considered, but if you're worried about the griddle top, again, we can cover it all up, but what we can do is actually lift the griddle out and take it inside and store it for the winter. At the so, end of the day, there are a lot of different ways to take care of this. Make sure that you preserve that still for the winter. Like I said, you could take the surface inside. If I were to do that, which I've done before, I've just taken the griddle top and left it in where I do all my uh, editing and everything in my office. It's just my own space. I just make sure it's cleaned up and I set it, rest it against the wall. It's it's heavy, so it's, it's hard to carry in. I recommend having two people do that, but it is an option for you. Now, at the end of the winter, when you're bringing it back out, uh, don't worry if you do see a little bit of rust. We have videos that show you how to remove some of that rust, but this is the best way to store it and preserve it. Now, ultimately the best way well, this is probably the best way if you're storing it to take care of your griddle for the winter. In my humble opinion, the best way to take care of your griddle during the winter is to use it. I can't speak for the people up in the Rocky Mountains or, or up in Minnesota, places where you absolutely have to put it away. If you can cook on it during the winter, it's the best way to keep it uh, going and keep it preserved because you're constantly using it, looking at it or seeing it, making sure that you are avoiding rust. In fact, we want to produce a video up here soon about three, at least three cooks that we feel you should use your griddle for, your outside griddle, year round. I know it's easy for us to say here in Central Florida because we get to use the griddle year round, but there are certain things that, man, you got, you have a hankering for a certain food, trust us, it's better to toss it on the griddle no matter how cold it is outside. Well, I hope this gave you an idea of ways that you can preserve your griddle for the winter. Again, we don't face this issue here, but we have had to store our griddles for a, a length of time before for a, few, or for a couple of months. And these are some of the things that we did. Oh, finally, the last thing I wanted to mention, because I just threw the griddle top on. If you're in an area where the snow might pile up and you're worried about the hood taking damage, you can always put like a plastic bottle or even a cup between your hood here and the uh, and the cover. That way it's gonna create like a dome effect, kind of a teepee so that water and snow won't pile up, but it will go over the sides. There are different products as well that you can use to create that natural teepee effect that will help the waters to run away. So I, I forgot to mention that tip. It is really important. Now, if you don't have, if you have an older griddle that doesn't have any form of a hood, side shelves that become the hood or the actual hood itself, uh, you could put a piece of plywood. I know Todd Tobin's men mentioned putting a piece of plywood. You could put the parchment paper and then anything else over it that's gonna keep, um, really make sure that when you put the soft top on, it's not going to stick and moisture won't get through there uh, on that with a heavy, heavy winter. So those are just some tips that we've learned through the years and we wanted to pass that knowledge on to you and we hope it's beneficial to you. If it is, if the video, if this video helped you in any way with some tips on how to preserve or take care of your griddle for the winter, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. And another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks. We know Christmas is just around the corner and uh, it, it make a perfect gift for those who are looking through those winters. You can watch all of our videos and get some good ideas and look through the cookbook. So when it's summertime again or springtime again, you can break out the griddle and you have a whole plethora of cooks to start making. We also always point out the majority of our griddle cooks can also be done on the stove top inside. So uh, excellent gift for anybody or just for yourself. We really do appreciate the, the support for those who have 
purchase the book or those who will purchase the book. Man, we love that we get to come out and do this and share our knowledge and our passion for griddle cooking. And thank you for sticking it out with us. If you've been watching this video for this long, by the way, we always do appreciate those who stick it out for the whole time. Make sure and put in your comment, it's always griddle season. And then I'll know you stuck it out with us and we'll give a big thank you to you. So appreciate it and love that we get to come and do this. And with that, I bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.